Hi, I'm the calculus professor and today we'll be talking about areas between curves. In problem number 19, we'd like to find the area of the region bounded by y equals 2 minus the absolute value of x and y equals x squared. Uh, so the first thing we should do is we should draw the region. Okay, so uh, let's put in our x, y axis. Uh, and then we have y equals x squared, which is just our simple parabola. And then y equals 2 minus absolute value of x. Minus absolute value of x looks like it's an upside down v, but plus 2 just moves it up to, so we've just got this upside down v starting at 2. And so we get this little region trapped in here. All right. Something that you might notice right off the bat is, hey, this is actually a symmetric region. So let's use the symmetry of the region to help make our life a little bit easier. So uh, instead of trying to break this up and ca calculate the area of this piece and of this piece, I could just choose one of them and then double it. So the one that I'm going to choose is I'm going to take this piece that's on the right side this side over here and just calculate the area over there and then double it. So if I want my total area on this, then I'm going to double the integral from. Okay, so we're definitely starting at x equals zero and then we're integrating until we get to this point, this x value. So where did those two guys cross? Um, Again, I could set these two equal to each other and solve for x, or I could just kind of investigate a little bit uh, on my own and see if I can figure it out. Uh, so I think really simply I can see if x is 1, then y would be 1 and y would be 1. So this is when x is 1. So I want to integrate from x equals 0 to x equals 1. So the area is going to be two times the integral from 0 to 1 of the top function minus the bottom function. Now here's a place where students can sometimes get a little bit frustrated and that is any time that they have to deal with an absolute value of x. Well the nice thing in this problem is I've kind of found a way to get rid of that absolute value and that is okay I'm just considering this piece of the line. I don't care anymore about this piece. So if I'm just talking about this piece of the line, what does that actually look like? Or what is the equation of this line? And you can see using like uh, the intercept and the slope that this is actually just the line y equals 2 minus x. So let's use that and just cut out that absolute value sign altogether. Okay, if we do that, now we're talking about we want the area of the top function minus the bottom function. In this case, the top function is the 2 minus x. So we've got 2 minus x minus the bottom function, which is x squared. All of that dx. <clears throat> okay, let's rewrite it. We've still got the 2. We've got integral from 0 to 1 of 2 minus x minus x squared dx. Let's take an antiderivative. The 2 is still there. Antiderivative of 2 is 2x. Antiderivative of negative x is minus x squared over 2. And antiderivative of negative x squared is minus x cubed over 3, evaluated from 0 to 1. Okay. We're ready to plug things in. First, let's plug in the 1. If we plug in the 1, I get 2 times 1, which is 2. Plug in 1 here, I get minus 1 half. Plug in 1 here, I get minus 1 third. All of that minus plugging in 0. If I plug in 0, I get 0, minus 0, minus 0. That's 0. And so we're almost done here. I still have the 2 on the outside. 
On the inside, I could get a common denominator of sixths. So we've got how many sixths here? Uh, this is 12 over 6 uh, minus 3 over 6 minus 2 over 6. Uh, so that's 2 times 12 minus 3 is 9 minus 2 is 7. 7 over 6, which is the same thing as 7 over 3. So our answer is 7 thirds, and what is 7 thirds? 7 thirds is the area trapped between these two curves, y equals 2 minus absolute x, and x squared.